Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. So yes, I'm using my office as a studio once again. So just wanted to give a quick thanks to you, the viewers. Um, many of you do actually really help keep me in the loop if there's any firmware updates or any app updates. Uh, plus your continued support in sort of watching my videos and supporting the channel, leaving your comments and likes. I just want you to know that I really do appreciate absolutely everything and every single one of you, I genuinely do, which is why I do try to sort of reply as often as possible. But sadly, obviously people do watch my videos from all over the world and I do have to sleep at some point. Um, so if I do sort of not manage to reply to you, I do apologize. I do often quite go back and try and respond to absolutely everybody. But the purpose of this video is this morning DJI have launched yet another version Version of their fly app uh, it's 1.4.8 build 1120 this is an upgrade from the uh, version 1116 which was launched which was an upgrade of the version 1113 which was launched about 30 minutes prior to that one um, so it's all getting really really confusing now DJI have also launched an update for the controller for the DJI Mavic Mini which I have by my side here so what I thought I'd do is I thought I'd do a two-pronged video today so what I've done is I've taken the DJI Mavic Mini out um, to test the new controller firmware, which I'm gathering is just pr probably support for the uh, DJI Mini SE, um, and also use the DJI Mavic Mini to do the flight test of the app version 1.4.8. Now, I do not want to waste anybody's time. I appreciate the fact that you've clicked this video and you're, you're sort of watching to see if there's any updates. If I'm completely honest with you guys, I couldn't see a single update um, I couldn't see anything new. Um, however, if you do want to continue watching, there is a little bit of a new cool feature when it comes to the compass and map um, and basically the app storing. So let's get straight into that. I'll literally show you how to install it as part of this video. Then I'll do a short flight and just test to see if everything works, whether the app is stable and everything else. So let's get started. So the latest app update then was version, as we can see here, 1.4.8 build 1116. Now it seems DJI have actually launched another one, so I'm just going to show you how to go ahead and install that, okay? So if we click the iOS version, um, that is the release notes for the last one, and I can see nothing else. This is for Android only. So what we need to do is we need to go to DJI as usual, click the download center, scroll down, click Android download Android APK and as you can see that is build 1120 we're going going to go ahead and click download right so that app is installed let's go ahead and open it up initializing resource data as usual and any second we're going to get a new home screen okay so let's click profile let's click settings scroll down to the bottom there you go we've not now got build 1120 right so let's go to go fly then now, one thing I have noticed, and I just want to uh, show you this little feature, okay? And hopefully this is all going to work absolutely fine. So as you can see, in the bottom left corner, we have that open map. All right, now this is quite interesting. So if I go ahead and I close down the DJI Fly app, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to very quickly open it back up again. Oh, get my screen recorded the right, right way around. All right, so when I go back onto the app, even though it's open, you can see that default is the map. Now, here's an interesting thing. If I select the compass view, all right, and do the exact same thing again, so we're gonna close down our app, all right? So that's completely shut down. Let's go open it back up again. Fresh reboot, we've already got the connection for the controller. So as you can see, it is actually defaulted to the compass. So what's really, really cool is basically it remembers the app now remembers whether you want the uh, compass or whether you want the map to start off with. I really, really like that new feature. So I am using the Mavic Mini, um, but the features are pretty much the same. Let's have a quick look through the menu then. And I can't see anything new there. Always check advanced safety settings to make sure we're on return to home. Control, um, Cine Smooth Position and Sport. They're slightly different from the, uh, from the Mini 2 uh, or the Mavic Air 2 camera. Again, everything seems exactly the same. Um, we've got slightly different settings on this, but uh, yeah, obviously this is, uh, I wanted to use the Mavic Mini, so it's not been out for a while. Transmission, as you can see in this area, we're gonna suffer from very little interference. Uh, we're gonna leave that on that manual channel. 
So let's check for any firmware updates then and just see if there's anything available. There you go, your firmware is up to date. One little quick thing I want to show you before I take off. If we go into profile and then view our flights, one thing that is new, you can see there is some uh, little pictures on the uh, right hand side just to show you a little preview of where you was flying, etc. I do quite like that. So let's go ahead and take off. Take off. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. There is no denying that the DJI Mavic Mini is louder than the Mini 2, but I don't mind it. So I just want to explain this new compass in more detail then, okay, and just quickly explain it. Okay, so what you've got is you've got this blue dot, okay? Now this blue dot in sort of indicates your controller. Now, there is an arrow on top of that blue dot, okay? Now, if I move to my right, you see the arrow moves to the right. If I move to my left, you see the arrow will point to the left. And that effectively means what? position you are your controller is in relation to the drone but what i do like about this new feature is before the blue dot used to be behind the home point which didn't really make much sense and now the blue dot is above the home point and then what happens is if you come a little bit closer all right what should happen there you go the blue dot moves away from the home point so you can see where you're landing that's really really nice and uh, a, a good feature i really really like that so let's head out then, okay? And one thing I want to point out is many of you have asked a question regarding these two lines. Um, this isn't actually new. Um, this has been on this uh, drone for quite some time now or on this uh, latest app updates. So you can see there is two lines either side of the arrow. We're talking about the compass now, all right? And what that does, that actually indicates your aircraft's attitude. Look at it as a false horizon on an aircraft. So if I back to the left, you're going to see the attitude is banking to the left and that's indicated using this compass if i go to the right it is the exact same again all right so that's really really handy now as you can see using the controller i am facing the drone directly so let's go ahead and just go for a little flight out then i have missed this drone i, I really do enjoy it i really enjoy flying it but yeah, that's really what I wanted to show you guys. Um, let's just we're only going for a little flight just to just to test out the uh, app stability. And the compass seems to be working apps. To be fair, the com compass actually seems to be working better than it ever ever has for me. Um, I've always really struggled when it comes to the app um, and the compass using the DJI Mavic Mini. So that seems a little bit better, if I'm perfectly honest. And also, many of you guys don't actually know this. All right, so I just want to show you how this works. So if I switch off the compass, all right, this is how I used to do my range tests. All right, so. Can you see this uh, red orange line here, whatever you want to call it? That is the most direct and easiest route to return back home. So for example, if we just follow that line, all right, let's just stop there and zoom out. You can see that is the easiest and most direct and quickest way to get home. So sometimes if you are flying using the compass, it can be a little bit tricky. Um, but if you always use this line, I used to do my massive range test in this location. And it was just so much easier to actually use um, that line to uh, indicate where I was and uh, yeah, gain my orientation rather than actually using the compass. Right then, so I think that's a thorough test of this app version 1.4.8 build 1120. Everything seems absolutely fine and it's also a decent flight test with the uh, new uh, firmware update for the controller as well. Everything seems to be performing absolutely fine on this DJI Mavic Mini. Like I said, I wanted to combine this into uh, one video just to make it simple. Thank you very much for watching and just to let you know, um, I, like many of you, are absolutely sick of doing updates. So what's going to happen on a upcoming video, I'm going to do a challenge video where I want absolutely every single one of you to participate. Um, not to mention, I uh, will be giving away a prize for the winner as well. Um, it will be a big prize, but it will be something quite cool and something DJI related. So thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you can install with confidence. It seems absolutely fine. And like I say, this uh, firmware for the controller for the Mavic Mini seems absolutely fine as well. Thank you very much for watching and see you again soon.